to change the building permits on an administrative level to say that all new buildings are zero emission and all retrofits are as efficient as possible. But then the tag with that, the city council would have to pass a fee bait program where you place a fee on inefficient equipment and, or, you know, yeah, and a rebate on more efficient equipment, bringing those economic realities so when a guy has to build this way, it's not going to cost you as much. City Council and the Mayor are willing to work on just that issue for the buildings. 3% of our buildings are that way, 25 years or 75% of your buildings either zero emission or super energy efficient. So I just want to see if they're willing to actually do that. Mayor elect. Well, I think it's an intriguing question and uh, we certainly need to be open-minded on all fronts. But I think as we sort through, where do we start? Uh, the question was asked, uh, what is green? We do have to define it. That's the right answer. But we have to define it in a lot more things than just doing uh, policies and then putting overhead burden onto our, our, our economy. Uh, I know that sounds very business, but it's very practical. We will lose masses of people if we don't start at the right place with the right policies. So as uh, my colleague uh, uh, Franklin Thompson said, uh, uh, are we gonna start looking at things that has add-ons or are we gonna start looking at things where we add value. And I think it's a question of where do we start. So I would keep a very open mind on what you propose, but my, uh, my uh, uh, thoughts keep going back to how do we set uh, the right end solutions that will add value and that will create jobs. If we're proposing something, can we make it? Uh, that's constantly on my mind right now, particularly as we look at how to bring this economy back because the economy is going to DEAD, dead, and we got to turn the other direction. If we start talking about things that we want to accomplish under the green agenda, and we haven't moved the economy, then the green agenda will be dead too, and I don't think we want to do that.